But I'm gonna say this, and this is controversial. Okay, so let's start with a bit of a kudos. Let me give Jake Paul some of this, man. Because this dude is not afraid to give the smoke out. Pauling Tyrone Woodley out is no little feat. Regardless of what people think of him today, Tyron Woodley is a veteran of the UFC sport. He's won championships after championships. He's a household name within the UFC and he's made a name for himself in the world of fighting. Granted, this would be Tyron Woodley's first opportunity within boxing. So who better than Jake Paul? I actually kind of like where he's at at the moment. I'm enjoying him fighting these basketballers and UFC superstars. Just, that's the market. Like, boxing right now is in a bit of a weird place. Fighters aren't always fighting everybody. You've got AJ versus Fury, which is a complete mess. This whole Jake Paul versus Nate Robinson and Ben Askren and whatever, keep it coming. That's That should be his little niche within boxing, just fighting all these celebrities or people that call him out. Just keep it up. I put Jake Paul in the camp of when Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. fights. If they're able, if they're fit and they're willing to do this, then let them do it. Let them do it. It's entertainment for us guys. I'm ready for these fights. Bring it on, it adds another layer to the sport of boxing. And hell, why not give him some retired boxers? I'm sure Carl Frock would be more than happy to come out and give him some work. But do not get me wrong, Tyrone Woodley will easily be Jake Paul's biggest test. Like I said, he's not a Ben Askren. Fine, they both came from the UFC brand, but these are two very different fighters. There hasn't been a confirmation of venue or date yet, but I'm wanting it really soon because next year I wanna see him fight Tommy Fury. Like, as soon as Tommy Fury fights at the weekend and then Jake Paul finishes fighting, that's the fight I want next. If it's not Tommy Fury, then bring in KSI. KSI probably could do with one or two tune-up fights, but yeah, bring, bring all that in. That's what I'm ready for. I'm looking at Tyron Woodley's record, right? Granted of late, his record's not great. Like, uh, it's terrible. Like, he hasn't won a fight since 2018. And he's lost his last four fights, which is, yeah, that's a lot. But he does have a lot of notable wins. Darren Till, Robbie Lawler, Kelvin Gastelum. Some big names on his list. So it would be a big mistake for someone like Jake Paul to just go into this fight thinking this is gonna be another Ben Askren. I'm gonna push him over and it's done. Oh, and I'm telling a lie. Actually, sorry, the venue hasn't been confirmed but the date has for August the 28th. Cool, even better. I'm glad it's happening quite soon. We can get that Tommy Fury fight out of the way this weekend and hopefully by the end of this year, start of next year, we can start to see Jake Paul fight the ones that I really want him to fight, the ones I mentioned previously. I personally wouldn't wanna get in the ring with Tyron Woodley, that's just me. But I'm gonna say this. And this is controversial. Don't get me wrong, this is controversial. But I can see, I can see Jake Paul doing it. I can see Jake Paul doing it, man. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I can see it happening. I like what I see of him. He just seems good. I'm not saying, I'm not saying he's the finished article and I'm not saying Jake Paul should go then against Canelo because he's getting murked. But what I'm saying is, from what I am seeing, three fights in, Free, he looks pretty decent. I know who he's fighting aren't boxers, but still, he looks good. He looks decent. I'm excited for this fight. This is the real test now. I know Tyron Woodley's not a boxer, but he's a fighter and he's someone who has experience going into a ring. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. It might be another Ben Askren situation or it could go on longer. The longer it goes, will be more challenging for Jake because I think he's got a reputation of just knocking people out and then they falling over. I don't think that would be the same for Tyrone Woodley. I think he's coming here to fight. He's not coming here for that paycheck. He's here to fight. There's a lot of bad blood there. I remember when Tyrone Woodley was part of the camp for Ben Askren and when they were doing the gloves, there was a lot of chit chat between Tyrone Woodley and Jake Paul's team. You could tell it was visibly frustrating him. That could fuel him for this fight. Just, I wanna knock this little kid out. Do it for mankind, as they all say. Which I'm not, I'm not down for. I'm, I'm for what he's doing, but that's neither here nor there. But anyway, what do you guys think? Tyron Woodley, Jake Paul, August the 28th. Who wins? Let me know in the comments below. Am I a minority here? Do I think, am I, am I the only one that thinks that Jake Paul is gonna beat Tyron Woodley? I never thought I'd be saying that, but uh, yeah, I think he might. But let me know in the comments below. I'm interested to find out your opinion. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel because you'll be helping your boy massively. Take care, guys. Peace.